What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Funko 411. On today's episode, we are going to be kicking off our $5,000 Mystery Box Mountain Series. I've got a whole bunch of mystery boxes that we didn't get to open at the end of last year. So we're going to open them all up. I've got a whole lot of stuff from Pop King Paul, Boom Loot, and Chalice Collectibles. That's what we're going to be opening up today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so like I said in the intro, I've got a bunch of mystery boxes that we didn't get the chance to open at the end of last year. This box is from Child's Collectibles. It should have 10 pops in it. And this was from like their Halloween Mayhem mystery box. Um, I'll put an image up there so you can see some of the top hits. But Chalice is usually pretty heavy on anime and some of their exclusives. So we'll probably see some of that stuff in here. Each of the pops in this box was $12. And like I said, we had 10 of them. So $120 for the pops. And then we had $28 for shipping and taxes. So that gave us a total of about $148 all in for what we've got in this box. But before we jump into this one, I do want to kind of mix in some other stuff that I have that we haven't opened to kind of warm up the video. You know, this one is a just a single pop mystery box and you got a little bit of a hint there, but it's an autographed pop. Um, and it's one that I, I don't usually see this autograph come up a whole lot. So I thought it would be a cool one to grab. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have. Move that packing slip. Nicely packaged. And there it is. Oh, that is really cool. Let's take this out of this Ecotech protector. Oh, really nice. That is the Leprechaun autographed. Really, really cool pop. You don't really see these autographs that often. And it did, I think it had... Yeah, so it's Beth Beckett authenticated. Really cool pop signed by Warwick Davis. Really nice signature too. I really like the way he signs. And then he put Lep right below there. So that's awesome. So... There is Leprechaun. I'll put that off to the side and then we will get into this chalice box. All right, so here is our chalice box. And like I said, these were 12 bucks each. So, you know, not anything too crazy expensive. So there's not gonna be anything crazy. And you know what? I saw, I saw Top Pops open mystery, these same mystery boxes a few months ago because obviously he's much more timely uh, than I am with opening his, his stuff. But I'm kind of bothered by the fact that these are in boxes like this because it means that they kind of were pre-packaged so that if you bought 10, 12 of them, then you basically were kind of locked into getting a specific set of pops and I can't even get the boxes out. Um, let me turn this upside down. We'll see if we can do it that way. But yeah, normally with Chalice, they normally ship them in like individual sorter boxes. So it kind of at least creates the illusion that you're getting, you know, a randomized pop. But when you're buying it and they send everything in these boxes, then it means that they already predetermined what set of pops were going to be in each box. So I'm assuming there's going to be five in here and then five in here. But, you know, it's not random anymore because they obviously picked what was going to go into this box. I don't know. I don't really like that at all because it used to be truly random. Because if I had just bought one pop, I obviously would have gotten one box and that would have been random. But when they're doing it like this, you know, they, they already decided which five were going to go in here. So, all right, there are the bottoms and you can't really tell what they are. You can kind of tell that some of them are newer pops, but we'll put that right here and we'll move Leprechaun out of the way. So let's start with this one. Let's see what we have. Oh, nice. All right. We've got the Thor chase. All right. So I, I was complaining, but at least they gave me a good hit in this mix. But there is the Thor chase. That is awesome. I do not even have this pop and I've actually never even seen it in person yet. I do remember when they announced it. Obviously, there's a common variant that's exclusive to Chalice, but that's great. I mean, I'm sure that this is probably at least $50 or somewhere around there, maybe even more. 
So that's going to be a, a nice hit to kind of make up for some of the value. But I'm going to bet that these other four now are probably not going to be as great because you know, they decided that that one was going to go in this group of five. So in order to balance it out, I would guess that these are going to be more average pops now. Here's our second one. We've got Azula. This is a Big Apple Collectibles exclusive. As some of you know, Big Apple Collectibles has, seems to be in, in trouble or maybe going out of business or switching hands. I don't know what the story is with that, but... Um, I don't know if I would be buying from them right now. It seems like a lot of drama going around with that company, but that is Azula exclusive to Big Apple from Avatar. I would guess that that one's probably like $10 or $15. Next one up is, oh, we got All Might from Fall Convention. This pop is pretty much worthless. I'm not even going to take it out. I will put it right there. No interest in that one. Let's see what we got for the next one. We've got Imperial Death Trooper Smuggler's Bounty Exclusive. This is a bit of an older one, right? Let's see. This one's from... I can't tell. But that's definitely got a little bit of value, I would think. Um, I don't know. Rogue One, some of those have some value, but a lot of them don't. I think this one might be okay. But again, still, my theory is kind of holding up. They... They gave us that uh, Thor chase in this group of five. So not really random. And I think that we're kind of balancing out the rest of the value with some of these lower end pops. Here's that one. And then our last one. Yeah, Jerry Seinfeld. That's a special edition. That was a Target exclusive. You know what? That's really, that's kind of annoying. I'm, I'm definitely not upset about the fact that we got the Thor chase. But it is kind of annoying that you could clearly tell that they said, okay, well... We'll give you the Thor chase and then we'll give you a bunch of other junk. So it's like, here's your junk. Here's your Thor chase to make sure that you're not really pissed off at us. But that's kind of, that's not good. The way they used to do it was they would give you a single box for each pop. Because then you could, you know, you could assume that they had them all mixed up and they just grabbed, you know, five pops and put them in the box. But when they do it like this, they chose exactly what went into this five. And they chose what went into this other box of five. But... Not really a big fan of that, but the Thor obviously is going to give us some good value. These are all, I assume, to be probably like 10 bucks. Probably not worth very much at all. All right, let's move Jerry over here. We'll move Azula and the Death Trooper and the All Might. And our only one that really matters, I think, is Thor. And then we'll move over to this box. We'll see if they did the exact same thing with this one and gave us one decent hit and then... You know, some other junk. I don't know why they're doing that. Chalice, if you if you watch the video or if you hear somebody who watched the video, why why are you not putting them in the single sorters anymore? It's probably because it's expensive to ship them, but it does really ruin kind of like the the experience of feeling like you actually got a random pop and not something where you decided exactly what was going in this set of five. But anyway. All right, let's get our first one for this next group of five. We've got, who do we have? Sasuke Renegan from Naruto 1023. This has got the new special edition sticker, so it's obviously a newer pop. Don't know too much about that one. Uh, we'll throw that one there. I don't think that's probably like our higher end one, so we'll move on to the next one. Next one we've got is Professor Owl. Toy Tokyo exclusive from New York Comic Con. It does have the Toy Tokyo sticker, so that's cool. Professor Owl. Um, actually, I guess that is the shared sticker, right? Or is that the ex exclusive? I, I don't even remember, but that's Professor Owl. Not a bad pop, but it is not worth very much. And then we've got oh, Borat. Same thing from Toy Tokyo. I actually didn't grab this one, so I'm not too upset about getting that one just because I don't have it. But I don't think this one's got a ton of value either. And then who else do we have? We've got oh, another big Apple collectibles exclusive. This is Black Adam. And this is a glow in the dark Black Adam. This is probably, you know, worth retail. 15, 20 bucks. You know what? It's starting to look even more like not only did Chalice put those five in there and give me that chase, but they probably also kind of took into consideration the entire 10. So it's like they actually decided what 10 pops were going to go in here, gave me one good pop, and then basically common or, you know, 10, $15 pops for everything else. Kind of, kind of shady, kind of shady. I'm not a fan of that at all. 
Here's our last one. This is the Hobby Stock. You know, I think we've pulled this pop in a video before. Hobby Stock exclusive, Michael Jordan. Cool pop. I think PPG on this is probably pretty high, but if I remember correctly, the Hobby Stock exclusive sticker didn't really help the value much because I think this is a, like the same pop as the one that you can get from Target or something. It's, it's very similar or something like that, but there is the Michael Jordan. So there are 10 pops. I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I, uh, am I overreacting a little bit or does it seem like they kind of built this box to give you one good hit and then nine eh, not so great ones. You know, you never know for sure what the mystery box companies are doing behind closed doors. You, you kind of buy into the company thinking, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to test them out. I'm going to see if I feel like they're trustworthy. And then I'll, if, if I, if I get that feeling, then I'll buy from them again and so on and so forth. Like, um, as an example, mystery grail, they send those, you know, those single sorter boxes and they, they've shown online pictures of thousands of those boxes stacked up. And they've even shown the process of how they, you know, they box them all and stuff. To me, when I see that, I get the sense like, I'm truly getting a random pop. If I buy a single box from them, I'm getting a random pop. And that's the kind of um, purchase experience that you want to get. When you do, when you buy something like this and you're buying 10 pops that I could buy individually, I didn't buy a group of 10 pops. I could have bought these individually, but when I get them all in two single boxes without sorters and they're kind of just all packaged together like that, it definitely help you know kind of makes you lose a little bit of trust in how they bat you know they batch these together but let's go ahead we'll, we'll do what we always do we'll check the value we'll see how we did i'm sure we still did okay all right so we checked our values and you know some of you are going to be like oh you're going to eat your words on this because you got so much value and you know what i did we did do really well in terms of value it doesn't change my opinion whatsoever about how they package this or anything like that chalice has always offered pretty good value in their mystery boxes and i have done well with them and gotten a decent return on stuff but the fact of the matter is the the boxes do seem structured the this first set of boxes seem structured and so did the second set but i'm not a fan of that um but you know it doesn't change the fact that we did do well in value so jerry was eleven dollars azula was ten dollars all might came in at 21 which that would you'll never get 21 dollars for that pop uh thor came in at 65 Black Adam came in at 27. That's another one where the value is completely wrong. You could get this for $17, $18 easily. Uh, the Imperial Death Trooper was 14 bucks. That value seems pretty fair. For Sasuke, that one was 24. Don't think you could get 24 for it if you sold it. Uh, Professor Owl was 30. Borat was 38, and then the Michael Jordan hobby stock was 33, but I did check. This is very similar to the one from Target, so you really can't get a crazy amount of value for this. And you know, I'm not trying to be super negative or anything like that. I'm kind of trying my best to just be as honest as possible as we're opening this stuff open and you know, try to try to take the filter off a little bit. I want to be honest with you guys. I don't want to sugarcoat everything when we open these boxes because, you know, I could have picked up this jerry pop and be like oh cool you know we got jerry he's a pretty cool pop you know from target blah 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 but you you know that i see this pop and most of you see this pop and think oh this is a super common ten dollar pop let's not you know spend too much extra time on it of course i love seinfeld everybody loves seinfeld but we you know a lot of collectors know okay that's a common pop you don't need to i don't need to sugarcoat it and and waste your time but you know i'm, I'm saying a lot of stuff but just want to tell you i'm not trying to be negative i'm just trying to kind of tell you what i'm thinking as I'm opening this stuff up. But, you know, if we're just sticking with PPG, which I have my own gripes with PPG, um, then we're going to say that we got $273 uh, in value from these pops on a $148 total cost all in. So that gave us $125 in profit. So even with a bunch of the PPG, you know, ebbs and flows of some of these prices not being completely accurate, we're still going to probably make a tiny bit of money on this. We're definitely not going to make 125 bucks. There's, there's no way, 
But we're we're, pro- we're not going to lose money, I, I don't think, after reselling a bunch of these. The only one I'll probably keep is probably Thor, and I might keep Borat. Everything else is probably going to go up for sale at some point. But, you know, uh, it is what it is with this stuff. When it comes to boxing mystery boxes, you kind of form your own opinion based on what you think the companies are doing and how you trust them and stuff like that. Um, not a really big fan of the way that was done, especially compared to the way they used to do it. But... Still really good value. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm definitely curious to hear. Um, This was just part one of our big mystery box mountain series. So be on the lookout really soon for the rest of the videos. Like I said, I've got boxes from Pop King Paul and I've got boxes from Boom Loot, Ralphie's Funhouse, a lot of other really fun stuff to open. I've got some Disney grails that we're going to open up. But if you like this video, definitely hit the like button before you head out. Make sure to leave me that comment down below. And then if you haven't subscribed, got to hit that subscribe button. Do all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.